Okay, we all as well today. I'm going to do a little bit of an electronic repair video for this transformer. So yeah, first repair I'm going to do with this transformer is this thing again. Every time I switch from um, complete stop, the brush is just seeing a spark a lot. So it must have carboned up because this whole thing just lights up. Plug it in. I'll do a demonstration here. I've got this little power pot and fitted to a block of wood on an extension cord which is probably not recommended but that's a wired it up or properly and everything but I'm not going to put anything nothing more than this on the end of it and that's it until I find a, um, a new plug socket for it but yeah just to run this damn thing that's all it's going to be good for so we'll turn it on there you go the spark <laughs> thought that was off anyway yeah so now I can have this opened up and do my repair but yeah, still be cautious because it is, um, you still get shocked. But yeah. yeah, and that's supposed to do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to um, open them up. Clean up the um, contacts and the switch a little bit. I might need to put a silicon spray, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Okay, good. So, goes that way. Yeah, it's all dirty in there. Hmm, little Chinese thing, 230 volt, 50 hertz. Um, yeah, there's little contacts here just spark and light the whole damn, light the whole thing up. But you can see those little um, contacts are pretty damn dirty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little um, a Q-tip, cotton bud, and just polish it up with some contact cleaner. Get those as clean as I possibly can. Okay, if you as well, get a little cotton bud. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have one end dry. Don't put anything on it, we'll just clean off the carbon deposit that this, yeah, burnt caused by the spark. There's no contact there obviously because that's off. It's very crude that I did this. Low quality manufacturing. Yeah, it's just all carbon and just crap. From the, um, the current, it's got to, it has to switch, the loader has to switch. Now that contact there, to clean that contact, I'll have to um, about destroying that um, spring. You can't, yeah, put a jam a rag between it. See how that cleans it. But yeah, we'll try that. We'll see how that turns out. Then we can put a bit of contact cleaner in. Then we'll see how it performs. That's our boost, that's pretty crude too, little leaf switch. Yeah, it's a bit of carbon, the uh, burnt contact on there too. Just all carbon that builds up. Be careful not to bump anything because it's got to get back together exactly the way I pulled it apart. But I can start to hear, I'm starting to hear a bit of a squeak in this again. So yeah, I should need a bit more silicon spray there. Clean side of that. Now if you blow on it, it will um, evaporate, it's like a solvent type stuff, a bit like my father's spirits, pretty good stuff, expensive, I think it's about 14 or 15 dollars a can but it's good stuff. Ok 
Okay, and then I'm gonna get to that inner bearing somewhere. I don't think I'm just gonna put a bit of automatic transmission fluid in that. I used that last time, but it's starting to squeak again. It doesn't seem to have um, retained its uh, lubrication print uh, properties. I'll just put a drop of automatic transmission fluid. That stuff's made for electric motors and electrical type stuff in a gearbox, so it should be the same deal with this. So yeah, put some of that in here, we'll see how that goes. I actually happen to make use of these hair dye bottles, hydrogen peroxide bottles. They come in very useful for little things like this. So yeah, let's try and get a good spot where I can get the um, oil to go in. Leaning up against a transformer. Yeah, pretty handy. Um, go up behind that back bearing if I can. That's gone in. You don't want to get any on the um, commutators either. The, com uh, the commutator. Because they'll just make a bit of a carbonized mess. Nothing's burnt there though, so. Yeah, I might have to give this a uh, polish the commutator a bit with some um, contact cleaner. That's gotten into the bearing, so that end shouldn't be squeaking. Let's put a bit. Um, this top bearing is going to be hard to get to. Yeah. It's really hard because you've got all these bits of yeah, all these gears and stuff in the way, but. Oops, wrong. Okay, this side. If I can. Well, that bit missed. Try and run some of the other shaft. I'm going to try the other way. Put up this way, go from the this side of it. It's a microwave. There you go. Gonna make use of everything around here. That's better. That should keep it from squeaking for a while. Now I'm gonna just give it a yeah, picking up some stuff already off them. Yeah, give it a commutator polish, I think, stick your finger in it with a rag on the end of it. Just turn it until it starts getting real clean. That might be your best option, do that and just keep turning it. So yeah, I'll do that and we'll see how much stuff it'll pick up. Yeah, all carbon deposits in the commutator, but that came up a lot cleaner than I thought. Let's put a tiny bit of this on. We'll give it another go. I go again. Let's try and do it on the camera here if I can. Put my finger in there. Finger against hard against the coming and then I just keep turning it. That's better. It's looking a lot cleaner now. Nothing caught between the um, but nothing caught in the insulation between them, so it's good. Got about a centimetre of brush left on each side, so let's give it a test. I've got to put it back together though, because this will fall apart if I start it out of its casing. And just for the hell of it, just give these contacts a check over. Didn't think they were going to be dirty. I hardly ever do anything.
Not the easiest to do with one hand, but yeah. Let's get the screws a bit of a torque up, and yeah, we'll give it another try. That's off, so. Smells the air coming out if it doesn't smell of burning anymore, so which is good. The spark isn't as bright or as intense as it used to be, but yeah, she's good. Oil rushing in the bearing, it should be fine. It's only during startup she'll sure spark, but yeah. That's all fixed. It's a problem with cheap Chinese engineering, you gotta just keep maintaining it every now and then. That's where an isolation chance when my car was in handy. Little things like this. Just a bit of extra extra safety. So yeah. Thanks for watching.